it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Korea Farms here, back again with another video, and today we are going to be on a map that a few people have requested that I play on again, Clover Creek. Uh, so, I'll explain what I've done so far and give a tour of the equipment, and then we will get to work. Um, so what I've done is I've been working on spreading lime on the fields uh, to get the pH level up so that way we get a better yield. Uh, as you can see in this field, it's 5.8. It is in... It is 5.8 in all of the fields, uh, so uh, we are set to go with that. So what we're going to do is uh, I'll give a tour, and then we'll get course play spreading lime on that alfalfa field there, and then uh, we'll be uh, doing some harvesting. So here we have the uh, corn header. It is a 8-row, I believe. 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah six or eight something like that uh, if we open up this door here in this shed we have the Brent 440 uh, tender wagon tender trailer whatever uh, here we have the International Transtar 2 grain truck pulling a JM uh, 680 gravity wagon here we have the New Holland TR 99 twin rotor combine uh, that is what we'll be using for combining here we have the 4440 uh, my k30 then in this shed we have uh, my fuel trailer the trail tech trailer that came with the international truck uh, here we have the grain header for the combine and then the header trailer for that uh, we have the Unverfirth 6500 grain cart, Air National 6200 grain drill, John Deere 7200 8-row corn planter, and then John Deere 2410 chisel. And then we got the pressure washer right there. We got a lime silo here. Then we got the uh, John Deere DN 345 spreader hooked to the John Deere 8440. So what we're going to do is we're going to set field 31. I want that in the southwest and north. The two headlands. Just want to make sure. Yes, it is. Okay, so F31 EN spreader. Okay, so we will get this guy going and he can sit and spread <laughs> to his heart's content. And then while he does that, we will work on combining. And I'd rather you just start going there, buddy. Oop. Okay, evidently it's deciding that's going to be a pain in the butt. Go ahead and turn the map off. Don't need that. Um, I'm not worried about withering this because... I'm going to be cultivating it under, uh, so not worried if this gets withered at all, because we won't need it. So we'll just run over here, literally run, and we'll get the combine and truck out, and we'll get started on harvest. Actually, I want to take a screenshot of this guy, too, before I forget. Oops. Hard to catch that guy when he's going 18 miles an hour. Okay. Whoa. So we'll start by getting this truck out of here. Uh, we'll start with the wheat. So. Let's go ahead and come over here. I will have course play running. Actually, we'll have auto combine running the uh, combine. So I think if we just pull this guy right up over here, we should be set to go. Okay, so that guy's ready to roll, 
and then we'll get the combine going and then uh, we'll be running the grain cart as well as riding along with the combine because I'm pretty sure it won't fill up fast enough to just be sitting in the grain cart. It'll definitely fill up more than it would uh, if I didn't do anything with the soil management uh, prior to combining. Okay, so I need to select the headers, that way I can unlock that. Okay, now we'll get in the combine. So I haven't actually tested this combine out with combining. Um, I just downloaded it. Well, by the time you're seeing this video, it was yesterday. But let's see, we don't want it to do that. Okay, let's get this out of its way. Uh, yesterday, by the time you're seeing this video, I'm recording this a day in advance. Um, so today for me... Uh, it's December 1st right now, so we're starting the new month. Um, but, yeah, so we do not want Straw Swath. We'll get him going. Oops. No chop straw? Hmm. I thought this map had chop straw. I guess not. I could have swore it did. It's kind of dumb that it doesn't. Anyhow, we'll run up here and. Is it getting dirty? <laughs> Thought there for a second that it was getting. starting to. that dirt was starting to appear on it already. Come on, dumb mouse. Okay, so then we will run over here and get the 4440 hooked up to the grain cart. And then we will just kind of sit and relax for a little while, I guess, until we uh, need to unload the combine. Uh, we can get that brought back up. So we got the duels and the weights back on this. So now we'll go ahead and up that's uh, pretty close there so the combine is filling up at a reasonable pace it's definitely not super fast but it's not uh, not terrible either I mean, before, if I had been doing this before, uh, uh, before doing soil management, this combine would not even be 1% full, I don't think. Yeah, definitely a neat combine. I think a bigger header would be nice on it, but for just starting out right now, uh, it works pretty well. Uh, basically, I took the money, I sold everything that we started with, and uh, that was enough money to buy everything. Uh, and then I did take out the full $200,000 loan because I did buy fields, uh, I bought field 35, I think it was. 35 and I bought 36, I don't know why, just thinking about that now. <laughs> don't know why I just did that, but whatever. Um, and then I needed to make sure that I had a little money for seed and fertilizer and stuff, so. It's actually kind of cool looking at this from up here. So yeah, this is definitely going to take a while to combine with, uh, you know, this small of a header on this size of a field, but. 
you gotta start somewhere. Figured it'd be cooler just to start, you know, with whatever you begin with, and or start with, you know, like smaller stuff using the money that you begin with. That's what I meant. This has the uh, dust script added to it, which basically makes it so when you combine, a bunch of dust comes out of the back. Really? You can't go in cab? Huh. Well, that's stupid. So this combine is actually a polygonish model. Uh, I had purchased this. But uh, now I don't need it because there's this one that's public. Um, oh. But I am going to still use the one that I bought uh, because the guy that released this one, he did not add the, he did not do the original header that came with it. So I want to take the original, it came with a grain head. So I want to take that and uh, in-game that, and then uh, then I might maybe make a corn head for it. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna see what that other one, that one that we're using, looks like. Uh, this header, it's definitely way too small for this combine and way too close. Um, you know, you can see right here, it's the wheel is rubbing on the PTO. Uh, on this side, it's fine, but yeah, definitely need a bigger header for it. I wish you could go in cab. Uh, let's go like this. There we go. Now we can go in cab. It's a lot quieter in here. A lot quieter. So yeah, it's a pretty cool combine, though. It's got some bright lights on it. So we could combine at night and we'd be set to go. Uh, and you're doing circles. That's nice. You're wasting fertilizer. It's the bad thing about course playing articulated tractors is they don't like the turns very well. Or they don't, they don't play nice on turns. But... Otherwise, they run pretty nice. Let's see, this guy's going that way, so... Just about done. Doesn't have a whole lot more left to do. So with just spreading it and fast-forwarding time and engaging soil mod to the next phase, uh, it only goes 0 0.4, 0 0.5, something like that. But then with... Um, when you cultivate it, then it goes like 1.4, 1.5. So, either not enough or too much. But, it is what it is, I guess. I do want to do a one change to this tractor, and that's remove this cube map that's on the windows. Uh, because it's kind of annoying, in my opinion. But, uh, otherwise, it's a nice tractor. Uh, the guy that made the 4440 that we're using, and then 4840, uh... He also did this tractor up. Uh, he just took... Uh, there was an 8440 released for 13. That got converted over to 15. And then he just took that one that was converted over. And put it in Blender. Rebaked everything. And looks really, really nice. Looks way better. Um, you can actually see the original store images on here. So you can see here is what it looked like before. So you can tell this is way, way nicer. Uh, than it was. It does have a couple issues. The brake lights. It has brake lights and they're in a really, really weird spot. They are um, right there on the back of the cab. Uh, but nothing that can't be fixed. It does not have hazard lights, which kind of sucks, but I don't think course play will let me turn them on either so let's go ahead and hop back into the combine there we go 
We'll go back outdoors again. And I could have swore. Uh, clover, clover, clover. Oh, that's right. F. So, let's see here. Map. Yeah, chop straw. Hmm. That's funny. I don't know why. Definitely weird. Boy, the auger in this thing's really set up weird. Never seen a combine set up like that. So then we'll get a reasonable yield off of here. So then, uh, after that, we'll have one, we'll have five fields to work with. So we can do oats, soybeans, sunflowers, sorghum, and like wheat or corn or something. Or maybe rye. I think rye is on this map as well. Uh, it says here what all is on here. Soybean, alfalfa, sorghum, oats, sunflower, and rye. So yeah, we can do oats, soybeans, sorghum, sunflower, and rye. Everything except for alfalfa. Okay, we'll just kind of drive around the field, I guess. Follow the combine. Actually, he is just over there. So maybe we'll just wait, and then we can follow alongside of it when it gets over here. We'll just kind of turn around and... See, I did fertilize a couple of the cornfields myself, like this section here, so you got the wheel lanes in it, but it's no big deal, I guess. Okay, this guy should be almost done. Uh, yes. So then after that, we can set him up for cultivating this field under. Now we'll just have him cultivate in this field here. And that'll bring our pH up even more. And then, so this field, it'll have it... Well, actually, no. What we'll do is... Um, <clears throat> after everything's harvested and stuff, and everything's cultivated, then we'll go through spread lime again, and just do the fast-forward time thing. And then, at that time, uh, the pH should be up where up in the 6 6.5 area that it should be and be set pretty well I like the auger on this thing that's pretty cool of course it won't uh, let me put out the auger but definitely a very nice combine I wish he had made it said so this still folded Cause that'd be kind of cool, but unfortunately he did not. Okay, we'll go ahead and jump in the tractor here and get ready to unload him. Come on, buddy. Auger out. Why? Whoa. You're kidding me. The thing is way up here. How does that work? Not on Earth. What's up with this thing? Evidently, we're not going to be able to unload on the go. I guess not. There's not some setting here that's stopping it, is it? I 
load mode driving. When I thing is done now. Spreader. What the heck? Why is this not letting me unload? Uh, pipe light. Now there it is. So if I hire a worker, he's gonna put that back in. Okay, so what happens if I come up to it now? Nothing. Guess we'll have to wait until it's full. That kind of sucks. Okay, we will go uh, get this guy cleaned up. So if you see, there's the brake lights, they're on the cab, and then it does not have uh, the hazard lights, but otherwise a really nice tractor. Uh, this tractor is private. Uh, the, let me see, uh, on, on the save game right now, the private mods that I'm using are uh, the 4440, the 8440, the uh, 7200 planner. What else? I think that's it. And the, this version of the map it is also uh, private. This is edited. Um, basically just has clip distances, clip distances changed. And then the um, there's a couple of crop textures changed. And then uh, this farmyard has been changed a little bit as well. I think those are the only changes. There's one uh, one lone strand of sorghum there. That's kind of funny. Whoa. So we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and then we'll get this tractor put away. Oh, and the other thing is the uh, Brent uh, tender wagon trailer or whatever. Uh, that is also private. Everything else can be found someplace on the internet. Uh, the 6200 is public. I just made uh, a little change to it. I just added dirt to it. Uh, otherwise, it's the exact same as the public one. Just, I made it so that it's washable. Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy cleaned up. Whoa. You know what, I think we'll just put this away. Just take the screenshot like this. There we go. Now we can get it all washed up. Get it looking pretty again. Gotta make sure we clean off these edges here. So we do have some fertilizer left in there, but uh, we'll be using this again fairly soon. So I'm not too worried about it. Tractor cleaned up, wash up windows. Alright, there we go. We'll go ahead and get this guy parked now. Whoa, still in reverse. So our combine is a little over half full. Yeah, the 7200, the 4440, the 8440, and then the Brent 440 um, seed fertilizer. I think it's only seed. Seed tender trailer. Uh, if you notice, we do not have a sprayer. That is because uh, we will just hire that out to the co-op 
they can come and spray the fields for us. So, that is why there is no sprayer or sprayer tender trailer. That and I also, the ones that I have are either too small or too big for the operation I'm running. So, it was just kind of a, I was like, well, just uh, hire that out. We'll rent. Basically meaning we'll just rent a sprayer. Yeah, I don't get why this thing does not want to put the auger out. That's really annoying. Whatever. So, I think... Let's see how much this thing holds. Um... Combine capacity does not say. How about the grain cart? Does not say either. Yeah, this combine is public. Uh, it's released in a group. I think it's like BNR modding or something like that. Or I can't remember what it's called. BNR farm modding and farm editing. <laughs> and have fun. It's just a game. That's the group name. Just got a Facebook notification that somebody also commented on a photo in that group that I commented on. So now I remember the name. <clears throat> I'm just going to check something quick. Yeah, it really sucks that it doesn't stick the auger out automatically because that means that we just kind of have to sit. Can't, uh, can't do anything with it. Trying to find the post with um, with this combine, so I can mention that it does not work. Actually, let's try something once. Uh, this is field 30, 7 meters, is that correct even? Yeah. Okay. Um, put southwest, I guess, heading north. Two headlands. Show all on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on there, buddy. That is not where I wanted you to start. Or how I wanted you to start, whatever you want to say. There we go. Okay, so now let's grab the grain cart here. We'll run over and see if it works now.
I don't know if using course play will make a difference or not. Hopefully we can get to it before it hits 80%. Um, dismiss that. Uh, otherwise, oh yeah, we'll get to it before then. I was going to say, otherwise we'll, uh, we will be waiting until, waiting a little bit longer. So we'll, we'll try this out, and then we'll end the video, and then I'll do some more combining off camera, just that there isn't quite so, so much. Uh, I'm sure that the combine's probably going to miss some stuff, but can just go back with you know running it manually and nope not even course play will put the auger out hmm well, that sucks well then we will uh we'll take this guy off of there and just put him back on the hired worker and then we'll just have to wait uh until just have to wait until it it's 80, I guess. Alrighty, guys. I guess uh, we'll end the video there. Uh, hopefully next episode there will be a little more going on other than just sitting. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll do some more combining. And that way there isn't quite so much. But I won't do like a whole ton that it's, you know, we're almost done already. Um, but... Yeah, hopefully can figure out why this thing does not auger out automatically. Um, and that or the creator figure it out, hopefully. But either way, hopefully this thing will get fixed. Start working correct. Um, so it's at 80. There it goes. Okay, we'll unload it here, I guess. Er. And then we'll... Uh, then we'll end it. What? I guess not. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we'll end the video there then. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Check out down below in the description for links to my social medias. Uh, my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to, uh, ugh. check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.